<laughs> oh, the nostalgia. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. I'm Germ, and today we are on the island of mist in VR. <laughs> Yo, I can't even believe I'm saying that, but Scion just released a complete remake of Myst. They rebuilt it from the ground up so that it could be played in VR. Now, you can still buy it and play it on your desktop, but ugh, guys, I just finished the game and what an experience it was. So I had to jump in here with you and talk to you about all the new stuff that they did and just share with you what my experience was because I am convinced that VR is how Myst was always meant to be played. Now, if you are a new player that's never been in the Myst world, I want to give you a spoiler warning right now. As we move around in the world, you are going to see some things that you, know, you wouldn't see when you first jumped into the game. But I'm not going to be solving any puzzles or doing anything that will actually spoil the experience. And I'm not going to be showing you too much, so don't worry. All right, so let's get rolling. <laughs> so, Myst released on Macintosh in 1993. I was 12 years old, didn't have a Macintosh, but in 1994, it was so successful that they ported it over to Windows. And when I would go over to my grandparents' house, I would play it on their uh, computer and it was just one of the most amazing worlds I had ever been in in a video game. The puzzles were difficult and super rewarding. The world was mysterious and really beautiful. And the story was just captivating. The characters and the drama and, you know, you, there were a lot of things in the game that required your attention, but they were always really engaging and really fun. And being here in VR has been absolutely amazing actually being in this space and feeling like I'm in Myst. Myst used to be a point and click game. So it was click, refresh to a new screen, click, refresh to a new screen. <laughs> and it was like that over and over. And you know, it wasn't bad. It was innovative back in the day actually and created a pretty cool experience. But to be here and to just look around and, you know, see things from angles that I've never seen them before and see the detail and the shape. It's absolutely amazing, you guys. Okay, I want to take you to one of my favorite worlds. And what's special about this world was playing it back in the day when it was point and click. It was, it was just really hard to, you know, get an idea of how big the world actually was and get a feel and a grasp for the height and, you know, how things were truly laid out. But, oh yeah, it's got that classic mist music, you guys. It's so good. Are we still running? Okay, there we go. But jumping into it in VR, oh, you guys, it was just amazing to actually be there. If you don't know anything about Myst, let me just talk a little bit about what the game is about. It's a puzzler with an enthralling story that's just soaked in mystery. Back in 93, 94, most of the video games that you'd find that were super popular were violent games, right? Shooters and really action-oriented games. And back then, there was a lot of questions around what the industry was gonna turn into and what the influence of games like that were on kids and people in general. And upon Myst's launch, it sent a shockwave through the industry and proved that puzzle games and storytelling and just a more uh, mature and less violent experience could be delivered in the medium. So here we are in my favorite age of the game. Oh, 
And when I first got here as a kid, I mean, just looking around, you know, you show up here with very little information about what's going on, and what the world is, and why you're here, who you are, and what you can do to get around. And the beauty of Mist is that all the puzzles in the world are part of the world. So they aren't just, you know, random puzzles where they have no purpose. Most of the puzzles, at least, have significance in the world, have function, mechanical function, or have some sort of meaning that's tied to the story. The cool thing about this world, guys, is it goes real vertical. I mean, just look, back in the day, you could only experience this by clicking around and you, you couldn't just look around freely. You know, there were only certain perspectives that you were allowed to view the game world in. So actually, you know, being here and feeling like I'm halfway up this tree is so damn cool. The sounds are really good in the game too. Like I mentioned, they added a bunch of new stuff into the game. There's new art. There's newer, higher quality sounds. <laughs> oh man, it's so immersive you guys. I even get the feeling like I gotta be careful out here. <laughs> they also um, updated and redesigned some of the puzzles. They haven't fundamentally changed the actual design of the puzzles, but the way that they look and how you can interact with them is quite different. I wanna take you to one more world just to show off how gorgeous this game is and talk a little bit more about what it's like to be here and why it's so cool in VR. All right, here we are, you guys, in the final world that I wanted to show you. You can just hear that water hitting the rocks. The electrical current coming from the cables above. The thunder off in the distance. <laughs> it's hard just not to take pause, you guys, and soak it all in. It is an amazing world to be in. It always has been. But in virtual reality, <sighs> wow. And we're back. And before we close things out, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for joining me today and watching and listening to me share with you what it was like to return to one of my most favorite games of all time. And experiencing Mist in VR, wow. I can't say it enough, guys. VR is how Mist was always meant to be played. Scion did an incredible job with this remake. And if you are an old school fan of Mist, this is a must buy. And like I mentioned, you can still buy it and play it on your desktop. But if you have a VR, that's the way to go. <laughs> and if you like puzzle games and you've never played a Myst game, now is the best time to jump in and check it out because the world has never been as beautiful and actualized as it is right now. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell thing to join me for all my future gaming content. And I will see you on the next Germs Garage. GG. Yeah.